We're doing a lot of work actually on climate change adaptation on the African continent and right now we're focusing on the Ad um, Abidjan Convention which are countries um, from Mauritania up to South Africa. And right now we know that um, a lot of communities living in these countries actually live in slums and they are very much affected by climate change. And all these communities are very dependent on ecosystem services which are, for instance, um, food, they're also um, dependent on fresh water resources for their water supplies, but right now all of this is changing because the coasts, or at least the, the sea that they're dependent on, is destroyed or at least degraded to a large extent. So we're working on improving their lives by making sure that these ecosystems or these environments are restored so their lives are improved um, and the food that they depend on is in constant supply. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of problems. We've noticed that um, in a lot of the countries around the Abidjan Convention area um, have actually lost fish resources. And uh, the fisheries that these communities depend on have sustained their livelihoods. A lot of people make money from these ecosystems. Now, what we've realized is that these ecosystems are depleted and the implications of that is that they, people can no longer go to the sea and fish and sustain their families and also have a livelihood, i.e. make enough money to sustain themselves. So with ecosystem-based adaptation, we're basically approaching this from several different layers and we know the multiple benefits of ecosystem-based adaptation, which includes the social side of things, also include the economic aspect and the environmental side. And as a result, with all these synergies, we look at an ecosystem from a very holistic perspective.